ever since I can remember. I've been popping my collar, popping my collar. If you don't know that song, you're too young. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I am very excited for today. We're gonna be talking about all things fall, which is my favorite season of all time, mostly because of the fall fashion, and also because the bugs start going away, it's getting a little bit cooler. It's just fall is an entire vibe, and I'm living for it. So if you remember a few videos ago in my spend the day with me video, we shopped together online for some fall pieces. Well, they're here. And we're gonna do a little try on haul of a couple of my favorite pieces, and also discuss as we go along a couple of my favorite fall trends right now that I am absolutely loving let's just go ahead and get into it so first oversize me oversize everything I am obsessed lasers always look sharp they look put together but when they're oversized something about it just gives this like effortless relaxed kind of vibe but still you still it's a blazer at the end of the day so you still get that like put together kind of look y'all know i also love like contrasting outfits so casual like athletic vibe type of wear underneath with like a smart oversized blazer is my vibe this will forever be an outfit staple for me a signature fit if you will she's wondering like who i'm talking to you silly always gotta be the center of attention huh yeah, you're okay. So this oversized jacket is actually from Shein. Super affordable and the quality is pretty good. I'm gonna come a little close up so y'all can see. One of my favorite details about this is the button. I really like the one button vibe because you can kind of button it up and still have a little slit action here. It's just so cute and it's like the perfect level of oversized. Also, super comfortable. Y'all know how important comfort is to me. So I just, yeah, this is the vibe. Love it. Okay, so next we gotta talk about cargo pants. I am obsessed. I have been seeing all the girlies wearing cargo pants and I was like, okay, I'm determined to find me some good pairs that are like nice and oversized and I'm kind of over the skinny jean movement for now. For my body type, I am, I'm gonna take this off so y'all can actually see, but I am more rectangular for the most part. I'm not like super curvy, I'm pretty slim for the most part. Um, I also have hip indents, so no hips. When I'm dressing my body, I like to make sure that I'm wearing things that are flattering and that will give me a little bit more shape, a little bit more curve. So that's one of the reasons I love boot cut because like the looseness and all the volume down here gives the illusion of more hip, more volume and curvature happening down here that actually like I don't actually have. Do you know what I mean? It's like giving like a nice illusion of more volume at the bottom, which gives me a little bit more dimension. So I love these. Love the boot cut, love how loose they are as well. Like some really nice oversized cargo pants are amazing and they always look so great with an oversized jacket and a crop top. This is an entire all black fit. So don't be surprised when y'all see me on the gram and I'm rocking this as a fit somewhere with some sneakers. Oh, I'm obsessed. What do y'all think? Are y'all into the cargo thing? Because I sure am. I sure am, and I think they's cute. I also have some tan cargo pants, so these are a little bit more fitted slightly, still have a little bit of like bagginess to them, which I like, and they're not boot cut, they're a little bit more straight at the end, if you guys can see. Um, at first when I put these on, I was like, oh, is it giving like <laughs> Target employee? I don't know, but when you style it, like this is giving fashion, you know? Like I put this outfit together, imagine it with some white sneakers. Like this is cute. So I feel like there's multiple ways that you can style this. Again, we could also throw on a pair of heels and make it look a little bit more dressy. So I'm just really into cargo pants right now and I'm like, they're exciting me. I'm excited about figuring out different ways that I can wear them and style them and make them look a little different, you know? I've never actually had cargo pants in my wardrobe before. We could also do like crop top, crop jacket. Ooh, there's just so many different ways that we could style this. So I'm excited to continue experimenting with style. It was just so much fun. I think I forgot to mention both cargo pants were from Nasty Girl. I was really surprised when they came and the fit was just like so good. I actually ordered my normal size in both pants. I'm normally a six and I ordered six in both. So I was really surprised that it gave me the really good oversized fit that I liked. Like I just, ah, I love these. I feel like it's a whole moment, you know? Something a little bit 
different than the usual basic stuff. All right, y'all should remember this jacket from the vlog. How nice is this jacket? It's the leather for me. It's the quilting for me. It's the comfort for me. I sized up in this and I'm so glad that I did because it's giving like vintage jacket that's been worn in. It feels like it's been worn in because it's just so comfy. It's that soft kind of faux leather that is just so comfy, so nice. The lining is cloth, like this really nice soft cloth so it feels good on the skin and I love this. I love this so much. I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of this, probably when the weather gets like a little bit more cold because it is really nice and warm. I also really love this collar detail. Ever since I can't remember, I've been popping my collar, popping my collar. If you don't know that song, you're too young. Also, I love the fact that it kind of like comes down in the back. So in the front, it's shorter and then it comes down a little bit. I think that's super cute. It's just a really nice, relaxed fit, comfy fit, will keep you warm and it looks really, really good. This was from ASOS and I love getting jackets from there. Their jackets are great, but you gotta go like early on in the season because I feel like their stuff goes and then there becomes a point when it's like truly like we're heavy on into fall. All of the fall stuff have gone. Like everybody's bought up the nice stuff. So you gotta catch them early. Okay, and speaking of leather, how cute is this mini faux leather dress that I found at Nasty Gal? <gasps> First of all, the color. I was so glad, I'm going a bit overboard. Like I've been loving all black, but I've been going a little bit overboard with black. I still like to keep my little pop of color moments. Like I've really been loving pops of color here and there. And of course, we know brown is a staple every fall. I am living. It's like such a good, sexy, dark brown. Like this is so sexy, I don't have it fully zipped because I'm here by myself, so it's supposed to be a little bit more fitted here at the top, but <laughs> I cannot wait to wear this, like with a nice jacket, with some heels, like this is a sexy night out type of fit, and I am here for it. Mini dresses in general are something that I have really been getting into, again, for my body type. I have really been realizing ever since I've become more intentional about not necessarily dressing for trends, but dressing for my body type. Midi dresses are cute on me, okay? Midi, not so much. Midi is the length that's like a little bit below the knee, but not full length. I used to love midi dresses, and I love to see them on like really nice curvy girls because you can see they accentuate the curves and it just looks so good. But I look like a pencil in a mini dress because it's so like, I'm just like, a straight pencil because I'm not super curvy. It's just for me and my body type, mini dresses are absolutely amazing and I love them. And we can thank George for getting me into dresses at all. He he said to me a couple times now, like, babe, I love to see you in dresses because y'all know I never used to wear dresses so often. So then of course I'm like, all right, let me go shopping for some more dresses. I did and then I found some dresses that I really love and now I love dresses. Mini skirts are also in too. So this is not necessarily something that I shopped recently. This is just an outfit I put together really quickly since we're talking about fall and fall trends. I have been seeing the Borleys in their oversized sweatshirts and their mini skirts. Specifically also like these mini tennis skirts that are so like flirty and girly and cute. Never thought I'd be into it and here we are. It's just the contrast again, super girly, mixed with something that's super relaxed and oversized and slouchy, just somehow works together. You can kind of wear it like this, maybe with some sneakers, a more casual look, or I feel like you could also kind of tuck this in, give your sweatshirt like more of a cropped kind of vibe, but still loose and slouchy. And this is also super cute. Throw on some heels and then all of a sudden you look dressy in a sweatshirt. Like what? It's so crazy how that works. This wifey sweatshirt, by the way, <laughs> was definitely a social media ad purchase. I saw it and sent it to George right away and I was like, isn't that so cute? He goes, what size? Like, you need that immediately. <laughs> We're just so excited. Very much like loving where we are in our relationship right now, but yeah, this is cute. This is cute, it's giving. Um, so yeah, this sweatshirt, I can't even remember the brand name, but I'll link in the description box below. And then this skirt is from Aritzia. Now we also need to talk about this matching set from Lily's Closet. Lily's Closet is a black owned 
clothing boutique online love their stuff so if you're looking to shop black owned definitely check them out this style and this set this vibe in particular was really huge in the summer and i don't see it going anywhere for the fall i really need y'all to get into this specific set because i have not seen one this material it's got this really nice like crinkly kind of design that is making me look really expensive it's giving rich auntie and i love it the color is also so nice it's such a beautiful pop of color a beautiful like rich it's like a beautiful rich teal slash sea green and i am here for it especially with my dark hair i feel like it pops and it's super cute we also got to talk about this set which is also from lily's closet obsessed now i know i said i don't typically like to wear midi anymore but this is the one case where i made an exception just because of the overall style and the fact that we have like a really cute like a nice crop i feel like it doesn't look too bad like i don't look too pencily in it a little booty poke action happening okay little booties matter um but i just love this Set. It is so cute. Back in the day, we were told that stripes do not go with checkers, but I'm here to tell you that they were wrong. This is everything. This is giving. I am leaving this in my closet for the perfect moment to just whip it out and show it off. Like, I'm so excited. I don't know that I would wear the skirt separately with anything else, but I could definitely wear this crop top with other things like sweatpants, whatever. Like, so super super cute and i don't know if i can somehow translate this fabric across it is so nice soft smooth stretchy it's like the softest sweater material that i have ever felt in my entire life so i did also do some shopping at the mall and i need to apologize in advance i won't be able to link the rest of these items for y'all because they don't have an online store presence, which is really annoying, but it's a store here that you can find in Lenox Mall and also Perimeter Mall, just in case you are located in Atlanta. The store's name is Edge, and they have really, really cute pieces that are unique. These shorts are such a simple find, but I actually don't have black leather pants in my closet. So I, I saw them and I was like, this is an absolute must have. There's so much that you can do with leather shorts. I'm also really loving like the vibe of like the mini dresses, mini skirts, and leather shorts for fall because I'm trying to keep my legs out as long as possible. Edge also had some really interesting cropped jackets. This altogether is not necessarily an outfit that I would wear. I'd probably wear this with like some looser pants or something, but isn't this a vibe? It's kind of giving me like Dare I say like Michael Jackson vibes, maybe because of the shine or like Janet Jackson or even Sierra. I could see Sierra wearing something like this and she is one of my fashion icons obsessed. It's like ultra cropped. I still have the tag on, <laughs> but it's ultra cropped. It's like up all the way in the back. It has like these things right here to make it just look gangsta. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I think it's so much fun and I'm excited and feeling a little challenged to find a really nice outfit, like a nice way to like put this together in an outfit. Let me know if you guys have any ideas in the comments of what I could style this jacket with, like how I could wear it, how you would style it. Okay, and this is the last item that I picked up from the store at Edge. Don't worry, I'm not gonna show you like 10 items from there that you can't purchase for yourself. Um, but I really wanted to show you guys this jacket because I am obsessed. And also I think this is, again, something that you can type into Google and probably find something similar online. <sighs> but this is like, ah. Oh. I love it so much. The design, all these patches on here are giving 90s vibes. 90s vibes is what I love. That's who I am. That is the best fashion error ever. If you ask me, I am always, I'm just always constantly drawn to and inspired by 90s fashion. So of course, as soon as I saw this, had to have it immediately. You know what? I am actually gonna go ahead and see what lookalikes I can find for these items online that I got from Edge. So again, everything will be linked in the description box below. Okay, so this is gonna bring us to our final item of the video, which are these boots. Steve Madden has, I'm pretty sure these are new because I haven't seen them before, but I am obsessed. Let me show you what they look like on because as soon as I saw these in the mall, I, oh, that's the wrong foot. <laughs> As soon as I saw these in the mall, 
I died and went straight to heaven because these are everything. Two words, sock boots. Oh my gosh, if you just want to feel like an immediate baddie, buy you some ankle sock boots from Steve Madden and thank me later. Bam, 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 I mean, come on. Finally, a Steve Madden boot that is not squeezing my toes. It's super comfortable to wear, actually. The height of the heel is not trying to break my ankles or anything. Everything about it is extremely comfortable. I am obsessed with the color. I don't wanna hear anything from y'all about, can you find some different shoes to wear? No, because y'all are gonna see me in these boots multiple times. Sock boots are like especially great because you can wear them with anything. Like if it's not fully cold outside, you can still get away with your sock boots. You wanna wear shorts, that's fine. Mini dress, fine. Long dress, fine. Boot cut, fine. I'm like, it's a little ridiculous that I'm like this excited about some boots, but just look at them. And that wraps up all of the fall shopping that I have done so far. Let me know in the comments what y'all think. How did I do? Do you love these pieces? I certainly do. I feel like switching my mindset in terms of dressing for my body type and what looks good on me versus always just trying to wear whatever is trendy that's been game changer for me, okay? My closet is starting to fill up more with things that I know will just work for me every time. I feel like I have more options of things to wear whenever I need to go out. I'm really excited to keep building my closet with really nice pieces that make me look good, feel good, and be good, because y'all know that's the motto. But yeah, guys, comment below, let me know what you think, and if there are any other pieces or any trends that you think I should try, comment those below too. I really hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did. Thank you so much for watching. I will catch y'all in the next one. Bye!